Happy Stray Kids Comeback Day! Hey guys, Caroline here. Today we are doing another Target Barnes & Noble Stray Kids vlog. We love to see it. Album is so good. Let me know your favorite song in the comment section down below. I am in love with Super Bowl and Top Line, but I've only heard the album all the way through once. I've listened to the title track a few times, but I've only heard the album through all the way once, so maybe my opinions will change. But, yes. <laughs> Today we're going to be buying... 16, 17 copies of Stray Kids' album. I bought so many Korean copies, but I do collect OT8 for both Barnes & Noble and Target for Stray Kids, and I also collect OT8 album cards. So we're going to do that. I also bought, I bought 17 because I bought a limited edition that's like not a Target exclusive. So yeah, I've been trying to buy albums since like 5.30 this morning. It's currently 9.05 and I'm at my friend's house. That's why I'm at a different like location. But yeah, I bought um, my nine copies from Target. I bought from a couple Targets near my apartment because that's where we're going to go unbox these. But at the Barnes & Noble that's near my friend's house, um, I've been trying to order there all morning and I keep getting a failed message. So we're just going to go in person. <laughs> my Target ones all went through surprisingly um but yeah we're gonna go talk to the k-pop manager at this barnes and noble they didn't open till nine which is why i'm starting to film at nine o'clock um and my target ones are already like ready for pickup so i figured i could just grab those on our way back to the apartment but yeah i'm super excited i've been waiting for this all week actually all month to be honest <laughs> um i did host member claims and i was originally supposed to go to korea next week however comma we are going to Korea in July now because I'm manifesting going to Monsta X's fan con and seeing Shonu and the rest of the members, but I want to see Shonu in person really bad. And I want to see Kihyun one more time before he enlists. So I changed my Korea trip to July um, for fan con. Unfortunately, I can't go to Stray Kids' fan con, which is early like the week before, but because I'll be literally like on a different trip, but I'm going to go for the Monsta X fan con. Manifest for me that I get tickets next week because I'm really freaking scared anyways let's go to Barnes and Noble um buy some albums there um I feel a lot more comfortable talking to the staff at Barnes and Noble than Target I just feel like there's a lot more like k-pop stands who work at Barnes and Noble um there's a k-pop manager at this Barnes and Noble I'm going to and then I know at least like one or two other employees there like enjoy k-pop um because i've had conversations with them before i feel more comfortable talking to them i don't have to talk to any target employees today isn't that so great <laughs> anyways also this isn't going to be the digipack unboxing because both barnes and noble and target well target doesn't release until july 7th for some reason and then for barnes and noble it's online only i ordered some from korea though but yeah let's go to barnes and noble we've made it to barnes and noble um tell me why there's like two people in the parking lot <laughs> There's like nobody at the mall right now. I don't even know what time this mall opens, to be honest. Like I never come here really. So I don't know what time this mall actually opens, um, but there's like zero people here. I guess people are working today. <laughs> Anyways, let's go see if they have the Stray Kids album. The thing is there's like nobody in this parking lot. So I know I'm gonna be like one of the only customers in there. Um, hopefully they have the albums out already. But once again, I don't feel like that weird about talking to um, the Barnes and Noble employees. It's just the Target employees. I feel like they judge me super hard and I feel like the Barnes and Noble employees, they get it. They, they get it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go do this. I love Barnes and Noble. <laughs> I literally love Barnes & Noble. First of all, literally went in there. Albums already out on the shelves. They've been open for like 15 minutes. Albums are on the shelves. Amazing. <laughs> uh, second of all, I did end up signing up for the Barnes & Noble membership because the woman convinced me that it was a good idea at the front. And I was like, you know, I do spend a lot of money here. She's like, do you spend a lot of money on K-pop here? And I was like, yeah. She was like, you probably should sign up for the membership. Anyways, so I have a membership now. Um, but ugh, they're just so nice and I didn't want to take all of the ones off their display there So I just took a couple to the front and I was like, can I just get like eight copies of this? Um, she said that a lot of people were really excited about the album too, which is so fun, but I did end up buying eight copies here, so That's fun. Let's go pick up our Target copies now. I Have spent so much money on Stray Kids today, but it's okay. It's worth it So I hope they sell a lot of albums today 
Let's go get our Target albums and then go home and open them. This has been the easiest day ever. You know you picked up your albums from Target when you got four of the same version. It's okay. That's why I got the variety of versions at Barnes & Noble. So it really doesn't matter. I just mostly need the Target cards. Hopefully they're not all the same number for that. There were like no albums out on the shelves. I just went to look. Um, but I did see three other stays looking for albums when I got there. Uh, and I was still like, I was still filming the card and I was just like, oh, <laughs> there's just some freebies here. Like there's no albums. You gotta order online, besties. Second Target. Hopefully our experience is a little better than the first Target. Um, but then we get to go home and unbox them. So let's go grab them. I'm going to see if they're on the shelf again, but this Target um, doesn't normally store their albums on shelves on release day because people steal photo cards from this Target. We'll see. I had two orders of that Target. One was for the limited version. Um, I then so there's two limited versions for Target or two versions with this cover, I should say. This is the actual like limited version. The other version, the Target exclusive version, is like the same cover and photo book, but it doesn't contain all the limited inclusions, like the folded poster and whatever. Um, so that's why I wanted one of these for the unboxing. The other four copies were drum roll please all the same well this one was upside down but i promise it's the same <laughs> they're all the same so whatever we really just needed them for the pops for the target cards so doesn't matter thank god for barnes and noble though because i would not have all the versions and i would have to keep looking but because i went to barnes and noble as well we got all three versions for that so we do have all the versions for an unboxing so yes, let's go ahead and go unbox these. So I do have all four versions in front of me here. So we have the limited edition and then we're gonna do my Barnes and Noble <laughs> exclusives. Target doesn't know how to give multiple versions, but I did pick these out at Barnes and Noble. So obviously I was able to choose my versions. We love Barnes and Noble, we stan. So if you don't know, I do collect OT8 for album cards. And then I also collect OT8 Target and Barnes and Noble cards. And I collect um, China Lino for all other Korean pop. So that's our goal today. So I'm not too stressed if uh, we don't pull all the album cards today. Mostly just the uh, just the Target and the Barnes and Noble cards are what we're really after. This one definitely feels thicker because it does have the like limited edition inclusions. Oh, I think all the inclusions are going to be in here actually, which is really nice. I really like when they put everything in a different envelope like that um so that we can look through the photo book without fear of being spoiled of our photo card pulls i have seen like one cropped photo on twitter for the photo book so yes So here we have the track list. So S class is really good. The first time I listened to it, I was kind of confused by the like transition from the first chorus to Changbin's rap in the second verse. And it still can be a little like, like sometimes it'll, if it catches me off guard, if I'm like not paying attention, I'll be like, what, <laughs> what just happened? But I do love the song a lot. I didn't watch any of the teaser videos. Um, obviously I'd like heard the TikTok sound because I, because I follow stays on TikTok. So yeah, um, very, very good though. Hall of Fame, I think is the only song on the album I haven't heard yet. Um, cause I was listening to it on shuffle because I'm chaotic like that and don't ever listen to an album, <laughs> um, in order like ever. So, uh, I will listen to that while I'm editing this and I'll let you know my thoughts. Item is... God, every single b-side is really good by the way every single one that i've heard so far which is the majority of them um item i just finished listening to like on my way home from the second target it's so it's flawless like i'm gonna say the same things about every single song i feel like but it's so good um their previous full album um in life used to be my favorite stray kids album um but i think it's five star now because this album is so good super bowl is definitely my favorite b-side um just 
Oh, it's also fully in English, which I didn't realize, um, but that means you have to reform it on tour. Next time you come to the U.S., you have to reform it on tour. That's what that means. Top Line is really good. I The first time I listened to Top Line, I didn't catch the part where Tiger JK comes in and does his part um, because it's so like seamless and he fits in so well with Stray Kids' voices that I was just like, oh, <laughs> the second time I heard it, I was like, that's not any member of the rap line. DLC is a really fun song. This song, when I heard the, the preview, I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this one, but love it. Get Lit is gonna be so fun in concerts. Yes, I am in fact a concert junkie and think about concerts all the time now when a new album comes out. Collision, I think, is my second favorite B-side. Beautiful is another song I haven't heard yet, but F and F is really, really pretty. Really pretty, so. Oh my gosh. And then the sound Korean version. I have not actually heard the Korean version yet, but I love the sound. I've talked about the sound before, and I'm sure I'm gonna love the Korean version. And then Time Out, obviously, is not a new song, but it's a summer bop. We love her. Um we have chat this is my favorite outfit from like the photo cards on him so i'm really hoping i pull his card in this outfit today i would really like that i mean obviously i'm gonna have all the cards eventually but like i really want that card and then this outfit on lino oh my god i'm been and the flowers i'm already thinking about what i'm gonna do with my extra albums i'm gonna decorate my second stray kids binder with some of my extra albums um and then i'm gonna use the rest of the pages for packaging <laughs> people always ask what i do with my extra albums i did do a member claim group order, so also Hyunjin looks really pretty here. So I'm probably going to use um, the rest of that for packaging for that group order. Um, that's the song. It looks so good. Felix, oh my god, Felix had blue hair on, um, what was today, M Countdown? Love it, love it. Is that Sungmin? I thought that was Lino for a second. I was like, why does Lino look like <laughs> <laughs> Sungmin looks Sungmin looks and sounds so good in this album like literally obsessed with his vocals also Jungin's vocals in S class amazing amazing his like part at the end where Chan and uh Lino are like dancing around him oh my god one of my favorite parts of the song to be honest the crop top uh-uh <gasps> this I have not seen this out oh my god Oh my god, these outfits are so good! <gasps> Wait, I love this outfit on Changbin too. I love those pants on him. Okay, I don't know what Yachin is wearing here, but he's kind of killing it. Like, I don't feel like anybody else could rock that outfit the way Chang or Hyunjin is rocking that currently. He looks so good with the pink hair though. Like, man, we love that. Ooh, this is a good outfit on Jisung too. Oh, he's so pretty. And Felix, he's got like the tiniest waistline literally what also i love when felix wears contacts colored contacts cinnamon looks so like grown up in this album and it's kind of like freaking me out i'm like when did you when did you get this big cinnamon he was kind of wild and on tour earlier this year though so i feel like we should have all expected this and then oh my god little jungin i love him he looks so good in blue and we have one more set of outfits it looks like wow Oh my god, this picture of Felix, <gasps> beautiful. Oh, Jongin has red hair here. Oh my god, that's so nice. And then credits. Oh, there's thanks to's from each member too. And then here is the CD. I do in fact love this version of the album a lot. I think it's my favorite cover, mostly because I am a color girly over a black and white girly always. Let's look through our stuff. I don't even know what's what because this is the first album, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's look at whatever this is first. Oh, it's like an extra photo book. That's right. And there's three of these, right? So we got Chan, Lino. Oh, so it has all the numbers in it. Okay, I was thinking that it was gonna be like, like member, like random member ones. 
um, or like random unit ones because there's only three of them, but you, know, you get all the members there. Very nice, very nice. Then we have two posters and I'm not sure which one is the member one and which one is just like the, oh, this is the, it's an American album, so it's gonna come with a poster one. <gasps> Wait, I like this poster a lot. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you the full thing. It's like a bunch of collages and it has the track list on it. That is pretty cool. Let's do the other poster. So this one should be the random member poster. Oh, it's a big poster too. Who did I get? We got Simon. <laughs> Look at how huge this poster is. I'm gonna show it like this just to like give you the full view of it. But oh my gosh, this poster is giant. I was expecting like a little like fold out poster, like you know, like they normally do. But um, or I guess they haven't formally done member posters. But oh my gosh, let's look through this now. You can't come over. You want to see which member I pull? My cat has arrived. I don't know what's, okay, let's start with this thing. Oh, and it's Lino. So this is um like what I was talking about, like the postcard thing they give us every era. So this is Lino's postcard. It's like a little collage postcard. So that's interesting. Starting off with a bias, that's good. But it's the first album, so every poll is gonna be good. And then this I believe is the American postcard. There's also a Walmart exclusive postcard. None of the Walmarts in my area sell albums ever. So I'd have to order it online. I haven't done it yet, but I might order one copy just to like have the all of the US store benefits. Probably wouldn't do it for anybody else except for straight kids and Monstax because they're my alts. So. <laughs> I don't know what any of this is. Looks like stickers. What's this one? Let's do this first. Oh, so this is like a little fold out or a little, um, looks like a little film strip, but it has all the numbers on there. And then we have some stickers. I don't, oh, this is a, um, like a little cartoon and we've got some stickers as well so we have two sets of stickers all of the track names on it so very nice very nice and then we should have two photo cards in here this one isn't going to have a store exclusive card because none of the limited editions um, came with store exclusive cards. There is a Target version of the limited edition, but I wanted like this version specifically that's gonna, that was gonna have all the extra stuff in it. So let's see what my album cards are. I know that there's one set that's double-sided, so I don't want to see it. Well, let's look at my first card. One, two, three. It's Hyunjin! I love this card of Hyunjin so much. He's so cute. And then this is the back. I kind of love the backs of these photo cards um oh my gosh what a great first poll and then who is the other one it looks like it's not from the the other set it's from a a different set so anyways it is lino oh my gosh lino really came through for us okay wow we love that oh my gosh these were great first polls let's move on to the a version all right so this is version a and this is the actual like Barnes & Noble exclusive one. So nice when everything is in a separate envelope like that. So we can just go through a photo book. So these photos are a lot more glossy um, and I do have studio lighting on, so I will try my best to show you with as little glare as possible. But yeah, these pages feel thinner than the limited edition and they feel, they're obviously much glossier um, than the limited edition, which is odd. I love this outfit on Hyunjin. Oh, now we're back to like the the paper beard. I always have to comment on how they incorporate the lyrics into the photo book because that's just something I do. And I do like that they have a picture of the member next to it so that it's not like a completely blank page. Like the way they did it in the limited edition is not my favorite, but we'll forgive Stray Kids. There's some unit photos. Oh my gosh, look how cute. You know how everybody was wearing pink goggles at the Maniac World Tour? Everyone's gonna be buying these white goggles <laughs> for the next tour. <laughs>
Here is the CD for version A. Hold a yellow extra photo book. Kind of an interesting inclusion. I'm not sure why they wouldn't just like put these photos in the photo book. I guess you can just get extra photos from another version if you only bought like one version. If you're a normal person and not like me who's like actually insane um, <laughs> and buys all the versions, but there's that. And then this poster, let's see if it's, oh, it is a different poster. Oh, this is pretty. It's a horizontal poster. So this one's only gonna come with a group poster because the limited edition comes with a member poster. It's like a limited edition benefit, but wow. Look at how good Felix looks in the middle of this photo. Oh my gosh, I like this picture so much. So there's the poster and then the photo cards. I would like to do the album cards. Well, let's do the postcard first actually. So anyone except Lino. <gasps> we pulled Changbin. Last era, Changbin was the last member for me to pull. So I'm really happy <laughs> he was the second member I pulled today. If I can't complete all eight of these today, I'm actually gonna be really sad. Um, because I bought so many albums, but yeah. And then let's see, I think the rest of this stuff is similar to, yeah, similar to what we just looked at. So yeah, all of these are the same. And then the three photo cards. One, two, oh, I pulled Yachin again. <laughs> oh my gosh, is this gonna be like my card that I pull a billion times this era? It might be. Watch, is this one gonna be Lino? No, we pulled the other Hyunjin card from this set. Oh my gosh, I love this set. Wow, he looks so pretty. Look at the, all the Hyunjin look today. That's really nice. We might complete Hyunjin. <laughs> and then, now that I've said that, I'm definitely not completing him. I just jinxed myself. But anyways, here is the Barnes & Noble card. So this is the back of it. And we pulled Felix as our first one. Look how cute he is. So this looks like it's from version C, maybe? We'll have to verify that later. But anyways, that's it for this front back spine. I do like the size of these also. Um, I feel like they're gonna be really nice on my shelf because um, Strikers have a lot of really thick albums. So I am happy that their most recent albums have been on the thinner side, just for shelf space purposes. I am gonna have to reorganize my Stray Kids collection for this era, um, especially because I'm trying to go back and buy um, all the versions of their older albums as well. It's not something I'm working on currently. Um, it might be something I do when I'm in Korea just because it's gonna be so much cheaper there, but I'm trying to have all versions of all the albums. I've never, like when I first started collecting Stray Kids back when they debuted, they weren't an old group for me, so I only bought one copy. Um, but now that they are an old group, I would like to have all the copies of their albums, like all the versions, so. Anyways, actually that photo card of Felix we pulled, the Barnes & Noble, is from version B, because it's the same outfit, so. I love this hair on Seungmin. I'm like really obsessed with it. This is a really good group photo. Maybe I'll use this on my binder. the CD for version B. Let's go through everything. So we pulled the yellow photo book again, so I won't go through it just because we already looked at it for version A. Oh, it's that group photo I really liked. Just in a poster. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Let's see my postcard. <gasps> it's Chan. We pulled both Chan and Lino now and Chengbin. Three fourths of Carolyn line. Ji Sung is the last fourth, so we need Ji Sung still. But I'm collecting OT, so it doesn't matter. But yay, we pulled Chan. All of this stuff is the same, so we're just gonna stick that back in there. I also dropped my photo card on the ground. Two, three, we pulled Chan. I love this card of Chan so much. His selfie game, his selfie game has gotten so much better. Like as someone who collects all of his old cards too, like. 
he's come a long way in the selfie game. Um, Great job, Chen. So proud of you. All right, so the next card. <gasps> is this Sungmin? This is the Sungmin concept where he kind of looks like, um, <laughs> like Lino. But, oh my gosh. <gasps> I love this card of him. Oh, there is a bit of a, I don't know if you can tell. Um, you see it right where my finger is at the top there by his head. There's a line, but that's okay. We won't be trading this card away, so. And then my Barnes and Noble card. One, two, three. Is Jisung! So, oh, I dropped Jisung, but here is Jisung. So we've pulled um, two different members so far. I really want to pull at least six. I really don't want to trade for like a ton of different members. So I am praying that Barnes and Noble shuffled. <laughs> I wish I had the digi packs today too. But honestly, after the traumatizing experience that I went through getting the twice digi packs, I'm really glad they're not in Target today. <laughs> I'm. I'm really glad I didn't have to go around town trying to find all eight digi packs because trying to find all nine for twice was just, it was too much of an adventure for me. So I just ordered an OT8 set from Korea um, and we will, we will unbox those separately and see back spine. Yeah, I was so worried when Stray Kids announced digi packs right away um, that there was either one gonna be different pops for the digipacks which there weren't god bless and two that they were gonna be like in target on release day which would have been fun and all but like not really like i don't think i would have had a good time with it as someone who collects ot8 um i'm just happy i was able to order them from korea they're gonna come next week um probably they'll probably ship on monday um uh, and then I'll probably get them around the same time as my signed albums. Maybe I'll do, I usually do reels for my signed K-pop albums, but maybe we'll do like an unboxing with the, di well, no, we'll probably just do the digipacks in their own unboxing. But keep an eye on my short form content um, for my signed albums next week as well, because they're scheduled to arrive on Monday. But then I would have to wait. If I, ha if I waited until my digipacks came in, I would have to wait to open my signed albums. I'm really not a patient person when it comes to straight kids, so we'll just put it together. I love these outfits, by the way. I really want to pull some version C cards because these outfits are really pretty. But yeah, overall, the music video for S Class it's so beautiful like it literally screams we spent a lot of money on it <laughs> which is great because like a group that sells five million pre-order albums which is the first k-pop group in history to sell five million pre-order albums insanity they should be spending a lot of money on on things like that also just had a world tour that was yeah they've been touring literally all year They've been touring since last year, but like they went to LA probably like five or six times last year. Like it was insane. It felt like they were always in LA thing. Like they went to KCON last year. Um, so they were in LA for that. Um, I wonder if KCON will announce them again this year. I kind of hope not because they, they announced them so last minute last year. It was so sad because I really wanted to go, but I was like, if I had known about this like three months ago, maybe I would have gotten the ticket, but didn't know about this three months ago so anyways i have hopes that they'll tour again later this year if all goes well they're gonna release another album i guess in the third fourth quarter fourth quarter of this year so there's time for a late summer tour they could announce like august or september you know let's hope for my bank account it's in september i think they'll be back really soon the tour that they just did was literally like so that they could make up for the members having COVID and not being able to do like the Texas or the Atlanta show last year. Um, and they just added a couple other shows on there, I think to make it worth the flights, but yeah. So we got the version C photo book, which means we did pull all three photo books, which is really nice. Had that not happened, like had those members not gotten COVID last year, um, 
I don't think they would have toured earlier this year and I think they would be doing like a summertime tour. They'd probably be touring like within the next couple of months. We're gonna have to wait a little bit, which is again, fine. I'm <laughs> not stressed about it at all. I can wait till September or October or whatever. Ooh, Pan looks so good in this poster. Oh my gosh, he is so handsome. Wow. But yeah, I definitely wanna see Stray Kids live again this year. It's a goal of mine because honestly, I had never seen them live before. I've been trying for three years and I saw them um, on both days in Atlanta earlier this year. One of the best concerts of my life. Like it was so good. Um, postcard. See if I can pull this out. Pulling my, <gasps> we pulled, <Jesus. laughs> we literally pulled Carol in line. That's amazing. <laughs> we pulled Jisung. I never call him Han. You've probably noticed. I never call him Han. I apologize. And then here are the, the things we looked at earlier again. They're all right side up. Here's hoping that we pull one of the double-sided cards. He, it's not this. <laughs> one, two, three. We pulled this yachin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, where did you send go? <gasps> we did pull one of the double-sided cards. Oh my gosh, we did. Oh my gosh, that's really good. So the other card we pulled is a double-sided card. Um, I can't tell whose fingers are whose yet. I haven't looked at these cards long enough. Um, and I don't know them well enough to know whose fingers these are, but <gasps> they're Changbin's fingers. Hello, Changbin. Our first Changbin card of the era. I love that so much. Barnes and Noble card. One, two, three. <laughs> it's Jisung again. So we're definitely going to have to trade at least this Jisung, but that's okay. Okay, let me get myself organized and then we're going to set up to just pull. Actually, let me just go ahead and grab all of these um all these out of the rest of the barnes and noble albums since they're so easy to just like pull out and so we'll do that and then we'll do the target album so let me just do that real quick all right so i have um my postcards off screen here but i did take out the last five pouches and then i set up all the cards we have so let's see here postcard first we pulled oh my gosh there's <laughs> a jungle card there. We pulled Chan again, so that is a duplicate. I gotta leave room for Jungin's cards because we're literally about to pull a Jungin. <laughs> and then for the photo cards, we've got this Jungin. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. So this is from the A version. Nice. Oh, the A version's my favorite. I really, really hope that we pull everybody. Who's this card? <gasps> We completed Hyunjin, y'all. We completed Hyunjin. <laughs> insane. That's insane. Wow. I'm sorry about the glare on Hyunjin and Changbin. Wow, we completed Hyunjin. And then my Barnes and Noble card. <gasps> we really completed Hyunjin. Hyunjin loves me. Oh my gosh. I have never, well, I won't say I've never pulled that much Hyunjin because there was one group order I had where I pulled. I've always pulled a lot of Hyunjin, actually. Thinking back to previous group orders and member claims I've held, I I pull a lot of Hyunjin. Not that we're complaining about that, because we love Hyunjin, and his cards are so pretty, and I literally love that card. It's actually my favorite Barnes & Noble card, so I'm super happy I pulled that. Next one, postcard, is Jisung again. So we're we're only going to pull Carolyn line, I guess. We're going to have to trade for the other four, what? Oh, no, so we pulled this Changbin, which is a duplicate. This Hyunjin, which is a duplicate. And then, oh, no, <laughs> please, Barnes and Noble. All I did was praise you in this video, please. Oh, we pulled Hyun Oh, we pulled Jungin. Oh my gosh, so we have a new postcard. These I'll just use for sorting for my group order. Um, my group orders I did. I may try to complete my OT8 set these album pulls though. I don't actually know if I have enough albums to complete OTA. I'm nervous because we already have four of the eight of these. So I hope it's a new member. <gasps> so cute. We pulled this Jisung card. Look at him. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're doing well. And then, oh my god. <laughs> this Changmin card, he is so cute. Is, is he doing the Juhan pose? I just saw the video today of Juhan and Changbin together. Literally, my stay baby heart. But anyways, they did that pose and that's literally what that looks like. Anyways, and we also pulled Felix for this, so 
We're gonna have to trade all the Barnes & Noble cards, aren't we? As long as I trade this weekend, it'll be okay because I feel like once you, like once you get past the first weekend in the US, it can be a little more difficult to trade these exclusive cards. But as long as I post them for trade, like today or tomorrow, I should be good. This one flipped right side up, so it is Sinmin again. Oh, did we look at the postcard? I don't know if we did. We did not. Let's look at the postcard. I was so focused on Kru Kaga. Oh, we pulled Felix. Yes, oh my gosh, we have six of the eight. Who are we missing? We're missing Hyunjin. Hyunjin and Sinmin, come through, besties. And then this little card, version B, is Lino. Oh my God. <laughs> Yay! These are really good cards. I was worried because I loved the Maxident photo card sets so much. I was worried that they wouldn't be able to like compare to Maxident, but they're so cute. And then for Barnes & Noble, it's probably Hyunjin, Felix, or Jisung. It's probably Jisung, to be honest. <gasps> it's Jungin! Oh, baby Jungin! I'm so happy to see you! <laughs> I'm so happy to see you, Jungin. Oh my gosh. This is the last one. All I'm hoping is that we pull a fifth member for the Barnes & Noble cards. I don't care about the album cards. Those are whatever. Oh, who do we pull here? Oh, this is uh, Felix again. I really, really, really want a different Barnes & Noble card. We pulled a number, another finger card. And these look like different. Oh, we pulled two finger cards. Two finger cards. Okay, who has the painted fingers? Is it Felix? Oh, it's Chen! Wow, I love this photo card. We really pulled every photo card except for the one I really wanted of Chen. Oh my gosh. And then I don't think this is Chung Bin, so who is. Oh, it's Lino! <laughs> wow, they really did it for me. And then um, Barnes and Noble. It's <laughs> Okay, well, I have, uh, let's see, one extra Felix, two extra Jisung, and then an extra Hyunjin. I'll put them up for trade or sale, not sale. I'll put them up for trade on my trade sale Instagram for Young Line and Sinmin. Please trade with me. I'm gonna move the Barnes and Noble cards just to get ready for the Target cards. So let me go grab those Target card pouches and we will hopefully do better. All right, so we have all eight little pouch things from my Target albums. I'm really worried because if you didn't see the vlog part of this video, I did in fact get two sets of dupe albums. So I got four of the same version from one Target and four of the same version from another Target. So hoping for the best here, but let's see. We pulled Jisung. We're gonna pull a lot of dupes of the postcards at this point, just because I have six of the eight members, but hopefully we can pull Hyunjin and Sungmin. Three different cards. This is what the Target card back looks like. Pretty cool. Um, but let's start with these cards. So two, three, we pulled this Chan. And I think this is a different member finger card. Oh, it's Felix! Oh my gosh, I love this Felix card so much. This is also our first Felix album card. Shout out. And then for our first Target card, two, three, we pulled Changbin. I love this card so much. We don't have Changbin's Barnes & Noble card, but at least we have his Target card. So a win is a win, right, everybody? A win is a win. This is Jisung again. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. These are gonna be duplicate albums, aren't they? Oh gosh. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> this Lino for the finger card. Oh, we pulled Sungmin's finger card. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we just need Sungmin's like version B card, his close-up card. And then for Target, we pulled Lino. Bestie, we completed Lino minus Barnes & Noble, but that's okay. We will trade for his Barnes & Noble, but we pulled his Target card. So again, a win is a win, everybody. A win is a win. This is oh, Sung Min. Okay, so we have Sung Min's postcard. Going well, going well, going well. As soon as I saw these were all dupes, I got so nervous. Like I have been so nervous about this part of the video in particular. All right, so finger card is Chan, so that is a duplicate. I'm starting to learn their fingers now. Something I never thought I would say about Stray Kids, but <laughs> starting to learn their fingers now. And then this card, oh, so cute. We already pulled this card, but I still think it's really cute. And then Target is, oh, it's Jungin. Oh my gosh, yay, we pulled Jungin's card. Again, didn't pull his Barnes & Noble card, but did we pull his Barnes & Noble card, actually? No, we did pull his Barnes & Noble card. Oh my gosh, we completed Jungin minus his album cards. We got both of his pops. That's what's important here. And we pulled Hyunjin. Okay, so we did complete the postcards today. 
yes love that for us it's a sorting photo card week too it's a sorting photo card week it was supposed to be one last week and i moved it because i really wanted to store my stray kids cards so <laughs> was it selfish of me yes however um i'm not sorry about it <laughs> okay here is this one is a different member because yeah oh it's Yanjin. wait we've pulled this card before i didn't notice that it was painted before and then um we pulled this Jungin card again oh we're missing felix and changbin and chan i really want that chan card and then target card is Jungin again that's okay first dupe first dupe will be okay i don't really worry too much about trading with stays though because i feel like there's so many stray kids collectors i just saw my target card um it doesn't matter who we pull at this point but let's just look this is Lino again. I'm gonna go into the sorting pile. This Lino card. And I really wanna pull the rest of the members for this set. I really wanna pull another new card. This is Hyunjin again. Starting to learn their fingers. Pulled so many Hyunjin dupes today. And then target card is Chen. <laughs> so we didn't pull, we didn't pull Hyunline for Barnes and Noble, but a win is a win. That's the theme of today. A win is a win. This is Changbin. I almost said Chan. It's not Chan, it's Changbin. I feel like I'm a little chaotic in this part of the video. I'm just excited. We just, we love collecting a new Stray Kids album. I love collecting OT8. It's literally one of my favorite things ever. Three, oh, we pulled Seungmin. Oh my gosh, did we just complete Seungmin's album cards? We completed Seungmin's album cards. And oh, we pulled Changbin! Oh my gosh, we finally pulled- we completed Changbin! Mine is Barnes & Noble. And then target card is- Hy oh, look at this Hyunjin card! Absolutely. Did we just com- we completed all of Hyunjin. We have multiple dupes of Hyunjin and we have both of his American pubs. I just want that Chan card. <laughs> I want that Chan card so bad. I am not confident we're gonna pull it in the last two albums, but it's okay. This is Upside Down. Oh, it's Lino. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we pulled Felix for Target. I love this Target card. We barely pulled any album cards for Felix, but we pulled both of his pops, so you know what I'm gonna say. We pulled this Hyunjin card again. Hyunjin? I'm a Hyunjin magnet. And then we pulled this Chungbin card again. Last set of albums. Postcard. Card is Chungbin. Photo cards. Oh, this is a different. Look at his long fingers. Whose long fingers are these? <laughs> They're Ji Sung's. <laughs> we finally pulled another Ji Sung album card. Oh my gosh, he looks so good. We pulled everyone except for Jung In version. So if you want to trade Jung In for Hyun Jin or Chung Bin or Chan, let me know. Um, I don't mind trading in between versions, but I would like to keep it between versions if possible. And then this card is Lino again. <laughs> so we did, in fact, fail to pull the Chan card I really wanted, but that's okay. We have many more opportunities to do that. And then the last target card is Jungin again. So I have, I only have dupes of Jungin. So I need Singmin and Jisung. We definitely did a lot better at Target than Barnes & Noble, which I really thought it was gonna be the other way around. I think I am going to post album photo card trades today just cause everyone's gonna be trading and it's just so much easier to complete the set. And then I don't have to worry about it in July when I go to Korea to pick up all my group order stuff. I don't have to worry about sorting for me. I can just worry about like my group order joiners. But I will note that if you're in, you're out there trading, there are a lot of cards I pulled today that do have lines from being pressed up against so many other things. So just be aware of that when you're trading with other people. Don't be too harsh on people for having lines on their photo cards. This is this is a packaging error. This isn't, like, you just watched me pull all these cards out of the album. Now they're damaged. But anyways, let me go and grab the album. Anyways, that's it for my unboxing of Stray Kids' third full-length album, Five Star. I literally love them so much. I love this album so much. I am so excited to be collecting OT8 for this era. I cannot wait to start getting, like, some pobs in the mail. Um, the only ones I sent to my house in America are the latte duty-free ones, so there's a chance they might arrive before I go to my other trip and then go to Korea after that. Um, but if not, look forward to 
I'll probably do some sort of haul or unboxing or a week in the life of a gom. Maybe we'll do a week in the life of a gom Korea edition. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.